That's all I can send. I can't send no more. Luckily, we're moving on to paint. As you can see, we survived a little crash incident and we've moved on. We've moved on to paint. And after I got some of this masked off to paint because you have the, the varying colors, as I was pulling the tape off, it pulled some of the paint off to reveal some of the putty underneath. So I had to go back, re-putty, and sand some more, and then mask off and paint. Now here's the thing. When I've got little small things to paint, usually what I do is I take whatever color I'm painting, spray it in the cap, and then take my little paintbrush and then dab the little colors on there. Just dab it on there and it'll dry and it looks great. But on some of these bigger pieces, when you have an area about the size of a quarter, you want to try and blend that in. And so I would much rather just spend the extra time and mask it off. This is an area right there. Mask it off and paint it. And then it blends in a lot better, for me at least. I tried brushing and dabbing, it just looks horrible. So, the reveal is, we won't have any more body stuff coming off of there. Yep, there's the grandkids again. That's a happy one right there. Let's do this. Then this is some good tape, I'll tell you that. That I'm happy with. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in and touch up a little bit. I can see still a little bit of the uh, Bondo right here where the two were the black and the, uh, um, we are using Tamiya, Tamiya Dark Yellow. Get to touch up right here where I, I missed my masking and so I got a little bit of the black on. And I really probably don't need to do that because the lights, will most likely cover that up. Yeah. But I don't like to take the risk. If I'm going to do it, you might as well just go on ahead and do it. And if, if no one sees it, at least you know you're covered. But I think, for the most part, we're looking good. I did weather the eagle, and it looks really good. And I'm going to have to weather the rest of it just so the two match just a light weathering so <clears throat> it looks like it all weathered together and this is the part where you have to decide production versus perfection I am so close to being done and I don't want to rush it but I want it completed but I want it to look as good as possible so you always have to weigh all that. I'm so close to being done with this here, I'm always thinking about what the next project is going to be. And I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm always excited to start the new project, and sometimes I actually start the new project before I finish the old one, and then I get cut up on doing that, and then I don't finish the old project. I don't want to do that with this. I want to make sure I get this thing done. I am so close. So... We're going to get back to this, and once we get the lights on here, i got to also figure out where I'm going to mount my batteries. I've already got my holes run, so basically all I really need to do is run the lights and glue them down real good. Find a place to put the uh, power switch. I found an extra power switch in my drawers there. Uh, I'm going to go on ahead and use the 9-volt battery. That works. It, it works just fine for the short amount of times I would have the lights on. I think I'm probably going to make it to where I could have a bigger power pack or or whatever and we'll be good to go we'll get this put to bed find a nice place nice place on the wall to put it on the shelf and move on to the next project but until then 
we're gonna get the lights going and you need to go build something. Pew, 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 pew.